Hey guys, it's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. In this video, we're going to be going over how to sell your music as NFTs, how it's cheaper than putting your music out on streaming, and how you might make more money in return for NFTs than what you would make from having streaming revenue for your songs. So getting into it, guys, you know there's some great channels out there. I'm sure if you've looked into getting streams, there are a few great YouTube channels you can check out. For example, Andrew Southworth is one of the best when it comes to offering good systems for getting streams on your Spotify. I also really like Tom Dupree. He's really um, straightforward and to the point for how you can run, whether it's ads or organic traffic to your Spotify. So it seems like one of the biggest things is that Spotify doesn't really pay a whole lot for your music. And when it comes to NFTs, it might be in direct proportion to the amount of work you put in. And you can actually specify the price that people pay for that music. First thing to realize is that the Spotify streams you're going to get are going to be around a penny or less, less than a penny. I think it's a um, about one to three dollars for every 1000 streams that you get. So when it comes to making money on Spotify in order for you to make, let's say, one hundred dollars, you would have to make a considerable amount of streams, probably around 100,000 streams or so to make $100. I can't say enough good things about some of the strategies that they use. And it's not to say that you can't make any money on Spotify. The facts are, are that there are some great resources out there and you can definitely utilize Spotify. And I think it's a great thing to utilize for the main reason that if you're offering your music as NFTs, Maybe something that some of your investors are going to look at is does this person have streams or do they have an audience? And one of the most common metrics is going to be looking at that artist Spotify. You put your music out to what you get back. It's going to cost around, you know, $10 probably unless you're using a monthly subscription or, or a yearly subscription. Uh, but in most cases, you know, like CD Baby, you pay $15 to get your music out. Personally, I like distro kid because you don't have to pay a lot but let's say you spend ten dollars to get your music out in order for you to make those ten dollars back you have to get about what ten thousand streams to get around ten to thirty dollars back in your pocket so this is where nfts become so exciting because when we think about how you can make money with streams you know it's pretty relative to what spotify says you're going to get paid but when you think about nfts and what they might offer there's a lot of exponential growth opportunities that you can find in the markets of NFTs and crypto that, in my opinion, just are way more on the side of artists and how they can structure the way that they offer their music. So when we get into how you can do that, well, uh, NFTs, for example, you're going to have a price that you specify. And why would someone buy your non-fungible token? Well, because it's non-fungible, it means that it's unique and it can't be replaced for anything else. So for the main benefit of owning something unique issued by an artist, it's a digital collectible and it's verifiable on the blockchain, which can't be altered and is open ledger so anybody can see it. You might offer it just as a song or as a beat that you have the WAV file, the JPEG for your artwork or maybe a video for your artwork and then you can have unlockable content that people get when they buy your music NFT. They buy it and they get access to concerts or a Discord chat or a group chat, or maybe they have rights to the music. But let's say that you actually offer your music as an NFT. Um, it's as simple as using a free platform like OpenSea to mint your music and only pay a fee once your NFTs have sold. And it's around 3%. So uh, it's much less than what you might expect from platforms, like when it comes down to it, uh, the 3% uh, is really only gonna make a huge difference if you're selling super high volume. But let's get into how you can just sell your first NFTs. You offer the music, like I said, in a way that it's kind of like an album uh, with the unlockable music and maybe a concert or even something that is going to be uh, sentimental to them. Maybe they get to FaceTime you or they get um, rights to the music and every time you make money with that song, that's an NFT that's also available on Spotify. Anytime you make money on Spotify and it goes to your um, CD baby or to your distro kit, you pay it out to that NFT holder. Those are things that are happening and artists are doing right now. And um, I'd love for you guys to stay tuned and get 
the uh, updates on the NFT music. So make sure to subscribe so you can see some of the projects that we've been breaking down on a couple days. Um, every week we just go in and break down projects that are having a lot of success. So now next thing you know it, you have 10 copies, let's say, of a song that's also available on Spotify or somewhere else. Uh, and the reason they buy it is they can invest in your career. Maybe they want to resell it later. Uh, maybe they want to just support your career and just pay a little money to the artist and also have something that functions as a concert ticket or access to group chats. Or, uh, I mean, there's you could basically do anything. <laughs> there's a lot you can do um, as far as what they're going to get access to. The resell, you as an artist are going to get a second market royalty. So that's a great benefit. So when it comes to the benefits of um, selling it, you're going to specify a price. So let's say you have 10 copies, you sell each one for $10, uh, you have sold 10 of them, you made $100 uh, for your music, for your songs. Now, anytime that those NFTs resell, you might capitalize on a second market royalty, which is another story and you might make more money with that. However, the the benefit is, is that in order for you get to to get to that $100, maybe you had to get 10 people to buy. Maybe you had to get uh, 100 or 200 people to your NFT project uh, and actually purchase it. But think about how you know you got 1,000 people to your music on Spotify and you get one to $3. And they don't have anything that they can do much with and they're just paying a monthly subscription to listen to. I mean, they get the song, which is great, and the art is so important. Uh, but when it comes to the artist getting back something in value for the amount of work they put in and also the fan maybe getting a little more out of the music, you know, it's just a really great route to take with the NFTs when it comes to the benefits for the listeners. Now, a lot of NFT artists are having a lot of success offering their music as NFTs, but what separates them is that they're allowed to um, add a lot more value, like I said, to their music that people unlock when they get it. So this is something that if you're really interested in learning about, um, it's as simple as subscribing to my YouTube channel and checking out some more. Uh, but also, don't forget to just check out the platform that I mentioned, OpenSea, uh, or maybe SoundXYZ or Mint Songs. And you can see all of the music that is available on those platforms and it's selling as NFTs and giving artists more in direct proportion to what they have put into their music. Right? They've put in so much work and they're actually getting fairly compensated at a price that they specify. So getting back to it, if you wanted to make $100 with your music on Spotify, then you'd have to get around 100,000 streams. If you want to make $100 with the NFTs, you sell 10 NFTs at $10 and provide way more value than just the song. And that's something that will provide you way more value as well uh, for the amount of work that you put in. So that's kind of how the music NFT, um, it's, cheap, it's cheaper to mint, it is um, more money back in your pocket, and it's more value for the fans, and you're also gonna give them more experiences. Maybe it's concert, maybe it's um, exclusive access to videos that aren't anywhere else, or an unreleased song, and those are the things that they're going to get. So for those of you that enjoyed this video and I earned your thumbs up, I'd appreciate your thumbs up and a subscription to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. And I can't be more grateful for almost 2,000 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Friendly reminder, if you're really serious about your music NFTs and you'd like to learn on a daily basis with me, there's a free um, ebook down below that you can get. It's totally free and you get uh, a token that's associated with my music company. But there's also three keys to music NFTs where there's a Discord, uh, a full A to Z lesson library where you can learn uh, with about six, four, uh, there's about five to six hours of content where you can learn about music NFTs and how to plan your projects, how to create your projects, and how to market and sell your music NFTs. So if that's something you're interested in, I encourage you to check out the, the second link down below. And the first link is going to be our free Facebook group. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to keep learning about the NFT music space and hopefully in the near future, we can hit a few good strides in our music and start to hit the right notes to be able to profit with our music. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.